Did CERN really initiate their Large Hadron Collider, their particle accelerator on the 5th, or did they actually accelerate it on the 8th? And are they assisting in ushering in the Antichrist, this King Demon? Also, will the Red Heifer sacrifice that will take place in Israel play into all this? We will talk about all this and more in this video. But first, I would like to go ahead and discuss CERN. Now, can anybody truly say, honestly say, they 100% trust this organization or trust this organization at all? Even if you're a skeptic, I know there's something deep down inside of you that is telling you there is something wrong about this organization, that they are not just smashing particles together in order to find other particles and trying to recreate the Big Bang and open up smaller black holes, even though that alone is terrifying, but something else is also taking place inside this organization. So with that being said, can we also honestly say that we trust any words that come out of CERN? Now, with that being said, the original plan to initiate their most powerful accelerator was to take place on April 8th the day of the solar eclipse. Now, I know some people want to say that they were already active in March, but March was a testing phase. The actual acceleration was to take place on the 8th. They even had a spokeswoman from CERN come out and tell us they were actually initiating on the 8th. Collisions for data taking. So we have already been doing test collisions, but it's the regular running that starts on April the 8th. It just happens to coincide with an astronomical event. So the timing is a pure coincidence. They had an article on their website where they stated they were accelerating on the 8th. Multiple news and media stated they were accelerating their most powerful particle accelerator on the 8th with everything ending in an awake facility on April 22nd. Oddly, as coincidence may have it, on the same day as Passover, April 22nd. But for whatever reason, last minute, they decided to move everything to the 5th. The initial firing of the particle accelerator was to take place on the 5th because they were ahead of schedule. And the awake facility, everything ending at this awake facility was to take place on the 15th of April. But I don't believe the dates had changed at all, given a previous event that took place February 21st, 2024. Now on February 21st, 2024, and this is coming directly from the CERN's website, CERN had initiated their Large Hadron Collider, their particle accelerator, on that date. Well, what also happened to appear on February 21st as well? Well, let's go back to Ventusky. Let's go back to February 20th as we go into February 21st. So as you can see, we are on the date February 20th. Now let's move on to February 21st. And what do we see? That same exact anomaly in the same exact location on the same exact day that CERN fired their first particle accelerator beam. So let's move on to April 4th, going into April 5th. So let's go between the dates of the 8th and the 9th. And remember, the 8th is the day that CERN originally had picked to fire off their most powerful particle accelerator to date. And if they did initiate on the 8th, this was seen the very next day. The timing adds up more that this was done on the 8th than it was done on the 5th. On top of everything else, there's that ritualistic sacrifice of Peter Higgs, the man behind the actual God particle that CERN was actually looking for, passed away on the exact same date that they were supposed to anyway, initiate the Large Hadron Collider. Now, some are making good points that Peter Higgs did not pass away at all, that he went through the portal or to another dimension. And we do know based on CERN's own website, they are actually opening up other dimensions. They found six other dimensions. 
get the numerology they found six other dimensions and they do plan opening these dimensions up and when they fire off their particle accelerators we see what looks like to be this portal so as i stated in a previous video are they assisting in ushering in this king demon this antichrist well cern has already stated that they found a spirit or a ghost from another dimension a fourth dimension then we had these fact checkers come out and state that cern is definitely not opening up any portals why because it's impossible then how do you explain they found a particle from a higher dimension from another dimension so how do you explain finding something that's not from our dimension if you're not opening up portals to other dimensions and this sounds like they had something cross over so as i stated previously everything was to end after finding whatever they found everything was to end on april 22nd at an awake facility coincidentally again falling on another important date the beginning of passover now oddly enough on the same date where this thing opened up in antarctica the muslim world were running articles about the red heifers and how it could possibly start armageddon or world war three but first let's go back to october 7th because on that date israel had what they dubbed their September 11th. There were multiple reasons why this organization hit Israel, but one of the reasons stood out to me, and that was due to the red heifers coming over to this land. These five red heifers coming from Texas. Now the Islamic people from this location know that these red heifers signify that the Israeli people from this location want to rebuild their third temple on the same exact location that the third most holiest site in Islam sits upon. The red heifers are to be sacrificed on a pit of fire on the Mount of Olives because the Mount of Olives overlooks the supposed third temple. But what does the Mount of Olives overlook? Well, it overlooks the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the third most holiest site in Islam. So the Al-Aqsa Mosque has to come down in order for the third temple to be rebuilt. So for the people of Islam, the five red heifers are a terrible omen. But for Jewish people, the five red heifers are to help rebuild their third temple and usher in their Messiah. Now, going back to April 9th, we had Al Jazeera release an article, what do Texan red heifers have to do with the Al-Aqsa Mosque and a Jewish temple. Now, this article from Al Jazeera goes over the history of the third temple or the temples. The first temple stood from 1000 to 586 BCE, and the second temple from 515 BCE to 70 AD until the Romans had destroyed the second temple. From that time, nine red heifers were sacrificed, and the prophecy states that once the tenth heifer is sacrificed, then the third temple can be rebuilt and the Jewish Messiah will be ushered in. So one of these four red heifers, because one of the red heifers had a blemish and were disqualified, but apparently one of these four red heifers is the 10th heifer. These four red cows are being treated very delicately. They are monitored every day to make sure they do not have a blemish. Now time is of the essence as time progresses the colors of these red cows can change. One of their hairs can change. That's why it's very important that the sacrifice happens as soon as possible. The theorized date is that it would take place on April 22nd. Now, nobody knows the exact date that these cows will be sacrificed, but like I said, time is of the essence, and it would make a lot of sense that it would fall on a very important date for the Jewish people. But there is something very important said in this article, sacrifice imminent. There are indications that the temple movement is preparing to sacrifice a red heifer with the support of the Israeli government, according to the Israeli Go'ir Amim, the Israeli Ministry of Agricultural and Rural Development circumvented protocols when initially seeking permission to import red heifers. Ir Amim noted in a report in August, an example of increasing government involvement as the United States was not a country approved 
for the import of live animals from at the time. So then Nathaniel Isaac, the Director General of the Ministry of Jerusalem Affairs and Heritage, delivered a speech in honor of the heifer's arrival at Ben Garan Airport in September 2022 and admitted that the ministry had been funding the development of the Mount of Olives area where the ceremony is planned. So the Islamic people believe that it's not just a radical group of Jewish people that are sacrificing these red heifers and wanting to bring down the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the third most holiest site in Islam, but also the Jewish government are funding this as well. They are behind this. It is why we have seen conflicts arise between Iran and Israel since the 13th. And remember, 13 is a very important ritualistic number. But since the 13th, there have been attacks on both sides. It's very suspicious about the timing of this conflict going into Passover and the supposed red heifer sacrifice. Will the Al-Aqsa Mosque fall? Will the Al-Aqsa Mosque see some kind of destruction like some type of rocket hit it during this conflict between Iran and Israel and both sides will blame the other, nobody taking credit for the destruction of the Al-Aqsa Mosque. You really have to think about the timing in all of this. We are seeing major conflict arise around the same time that these heifers, or one of these heifers, have to be sacrificed. These five heifers were monitored, heavily monitored, carefully monitored. One was disqualified. And throughout all this time of them having these red heifers, four of them apparently are still in pristine condition. So here's the thing, it's not just Jewish people involved in this 2000 year old ceremony to sacrifice this red heifer, but a sect of Christians as well, Pentecostal Christians. All the way to Capitol Hill. So good to see you here in the nation's capital. Those sacred cows were showcased in Washington at a recent prayer gathering. Many evangelicals believe these red heifers will usher Christ's second coming. We need the Messiah to come, right? So for me, the red heifer is red for the blood of Jesus Christ. Back in the West Bank, Mamo says the ceremony could take place any day. In a video from January posted on Bonet Israel's website, Michael Samuel Smith, a Christian preacher, working to bring forth the temple prophecy, said the red heifers they have been raising in Shiloh have come of sacrificial age. And like I said before, time is of the essence. So even if the sacrifice is not on April 22nd, the sacrifice will happen soon. This is the first time in nearly 2000 years a successful red heifer has come about, Smith said in the video. It's still our opinion the first successful red heifer sacrifice will take will take place in the spring of 2024 around the Passover to Pentecostal time frame. We believe God is going to reveal himself through the efforts of this future event. It is truly a sign of the times, most especially for Jews in Israel. Now, I don't know everything about Christianity. I'm not a biblical scholar. I'm not a preacher. But one thing I do know is that the Antichrist is supposed to come before the second coming of Jesus Christ. I don't know how the Pentecost religion works, but other Christians should know that they are assisting in ushering in the Antichrist because the Antichrist is supposed to desecrate the third temple or this temple. So is that the ultimate goal of this denomination of Christians? Do they know they are bringing in the Antichrist because they know it will bring forth the second coming of Christ? For many Christians, the man of sin is supposed to walk into the temple after it has been rebuilt and claim himself to be God. This all lines up with CERN, with them ending what they found in an awake facility. Are they waking up this major demon to get it prepared for this ritual. This may also open up a much bigger conflict because Muslim people have noticed as well. Defending Al-Aqsa is an important mission for Palestinian Muslims, worshipers, and armed fighters alike. This article goes on to state that a speech was made during the 100 days of the Israel-Palestine conflict and how the red heifers sparked a real concern and it all surrounds 
the Al-Aqsa Mosque. So we have a group of Muslims that believe that the red heifer sacrifice will happen very soon. We have a group of Christians that believe the red heifer sacrifice will also happen very soon, anytime between Passover and Pentecost. And we have the Jewish people stating that no, it will not happen anytime soon. The reason behind that is that as for the red heifer sacrifice, they need recognition of a very wide public and of decision makers and all kinds of important rabbis. If they do it in April, it won't be recognized and all their efforts will be for nothing. But you have to understand the money spent on these red heifers going over to Israel and being tended for is thousands upon thousands of dollars. Like I said, so far, it seems like these four red heifers that are left are in pristine condition. We have not heard that one of them has been disqualified as of yet, and they are now of sacrificial age. We have to remember April is the month of fire. A lot of events involving fire has taken place in April. Aries is the fire sign. With all this money being spent bringing them over there and tending to these red heifers and all these groups backing these red heifers, I can't see them stretching this out any longer. Well, what will happen once the red heifer is sacrificed, the Al-Aqsa Mosque is taken down, the third temple is rebuilt, and the ashes of this red heifer is used to purify not only the temple, but the temple's instruments and the temple's priest. Will this really usher in the Jewish Messiah? Will it usher in the Antichrist? What we do know is that it will not be a pretty event once this third most holiest site falls and this temple is rebuilt for this ceremony. We may see conflicts like we've never seen it happen before all over the world. Demons have always been summoned over here with dark ritualistic magics, but these technologies like the one seen open in CERN allow them to bust open these portals to these dimensions to allow much more powerful entities to cross over. This is why CERN stated they were looking for dark energy because all this is between dark ritualistic magic like Aleister Crowley was performing and what CERN is doing and what they're looking for is just dark energy. Just look at how these people dance and these ceremonies these people of science perform. These are not scientists or supposed scientists. These people are occultists. They are ritualists. And they know they are ushering in a demon this world has never seen before, or perhaps has been seen before, but has not been seen in thousands of thousands of years. This demon requires a lot of energy. And they found it, and they found a way to bring it over. And now they are awakening this demon. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please like, as any engagement does help the channel grow. Once again, thank you so much for your support.